Hello, my friend. This is Pastor Anton Bronson of World Harvest Center Ministries, where our focus is centered on the harvest of the world. And where we can't go by air, we go by prayer. You hear a lot of good messages, but is there a word from the Lord? I have good news for you, my friend. There is a word from the Lord. So stay tuned. Pay close attention as we prepare now to go into the word. All right. So it says here in the 27th division of Psalm, the Lord is somebody said, the Lord is my light. He is your light. We can take that word light. We can say he's our light. He's our example. Amen. Amen. He's, he's, he's our example. He's our example. He's the one that I look to. Amen. How to get answers from the Father. How to get answers from God. How to get answers out of the word. How to work the word of God. He's my light. Light also deals with understanding. Amen. 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 It gives an understanding. How many want to understand the word? You don't just want to hear the word. And just, you know, just getting excited because it sounds good. But give me some understanding. Amen. Amen. I want understanding. Put your hands together if you want some understanding. Amen. Amen. I want understanding. I don't know about you. But he said, the Lord is my light. Or he's the one I'm to look to. He's my example. Glory to God. How many know the book of Psalms talks about wisdom? Well, how many know that wisdom is Christ? Amen. I, I proved that to you. I proved that to you. Man, I was reading Proverbs, you know, first uh, chapter of the book of Proverbs, and just read on, man. I was like, man, it was like, a, man, the Lord, the Lord just, man, he was just speaking to my spirit. I was like, Lord, this this you. This is you calling me to you. You, you think it's a call to wisdom, but it's a call to Christ. Amen. Man, he opened up my eyes. Man, he fed my spirit yesterday. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I was like, man, this is real good. Y'all to see what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. But he said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Take that in your heart. He's your light and he's your salvation. And he says, whom shall I fear? Look at that. Do you know who to see the light? Do you have an understanding who he is? See, the man of God here, he understood who he was. That's why he say, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light. The Lord is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Amen. Or what shall I fear? Amen. Well, you have a true understanding who he is. Amen. 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 He says here, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Somebody say, whom shall I fear? Look at this now. He also says, the Lord is the strength of my life. Look at that. He's the strength. Someone say, he's my strength. He said, of whom shall I be afraid? He said, the Lord is my strength because he understood the Lord fights for me. Huh? So who shall I be afraid? The Lord fight for me. How many of you know the Lord fights for you? That's why the scripture said, hold your peace. Stand still. You ever heard that? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See the deliverance of the Lord. Salvation will only deals with us being saved and not going to hell. But see God's deliverance take place in your life. Stand still. Somebody say, stand still. Stand still and see the salvation. Stand still. Stand firm on his word. Stick to what he said. I don't care what it looks like. Amen. How are you feeling right now? You understand? Stand still on what the Lord said and see his salvation. Watch he come through for you. Amen. God can't deny real faith. God won't deny. He can't deny real faith. Unwavering faith. Faith that won't move. Faith that won't quit. Faith that won't stop. Ain't no way in the world God going to deny you. Amen. Then we're saying, consider that unjust judge. How that weary came, that uh, widow came and wearied him every day. You got to get into God's presence like that. Some things you're going to have to pray about and pray about and pray about and pray about and pray about. But every time you're praying about, make sure you're believing. I'm believing. I'm believing. I'm believing. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Amen. And sooner or later, he said, I will avenge you speedily. He's going to be on time because he's not on your time. 
He knows that Jesus said the Father knows what you have need of before you ask him. Amen. He don't only know what you need before you ask him, but he know when you need what you need before you ask him. Glory to God. Because it's God, it's God, it's God's plan. We can't forget about that. This, this is God's plan for our life. God has a specific plan for your life. But th- this is such a blessing here. I got to read one more time. The first verse, he said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? See, we're not just saying that now. Remember, we just say that. We just quote that. But we ain't really getting, you understand, we're not even digging into why he was able to speak such boastful word. This is like a boastful thing. Just like Paul said, he boasts in the Lord. Amen. How many of you boasting in the Lord? Amen. Some of us, how many times, tell the truth that the enemy done got you, backed you up, and you was kind of, you was kind of timid for boasting because you was afraid, what if he don't do it? Tell the truth, shame, tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame ourselves. Bump shaming the devil. Let's tell the truth and shame ourselves. I'm by myself? Huh? <laughs> I've been in ministry a long time now, not the pastor, but ministry. Amen. Lord, if I say that, what if it don't happen? All these people looking at me. (laughs) Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get delivered. Let's get delivered. If if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. That devil had you. Amen. But we got to get back boasting in the Lord. Only way you can boast in the Lord if you truly Trust in the Lord. Amen. Amen. That determines whether we truly trust. So at those times, I didn't truly trust in him. Amen. At those times, I didn't know him uh, as deep as I thought I knew him. Amen. Hmm? Because God, if you do it or not, hey, this is your thing. This is your thing. This ain't my thing. Amen. What I'm ashamed for. What am I worried about? Amen. <laughs> huh? I, I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating your word. I'm doing what you told me to do. Now, it's really up to you whether you do it or not. My job is to believe what you said and to do what you told me to do. Amen. Amen. I may know your pastor had to learn that. Amen. Amen. Don't, you, don't you think God will pass to tell you the truth so you can get delivered? <laughs> I, I got to tell you my stuff so for you can get delivered. That's wrong for me to stand up here and just act like I got everything together. Amen. Amen. I ain't talking about no sin. See, that's the problem. Now. You got a pastor that's living right, living holy. I told you, I could tell you, I don't have no secret sins. Amen. <laughs> I don't have no secret sins. Amen. I can't I be with my wife too much to have any no. <laughs> But you understand, but I don't have no secret sins. How many you can raise your hand and say, don't raise your hand, but how many you can say that? But good if you can, good if you can, good if you can. Amen. If you have to think about it, I mean, you might have something you deal with. <laughs> Amen. You know, if you had, let me see if I, no, nah, nah, I don't have no secret sins. Amen. And you can, you can have that testimony today. Amen. 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 But many people believe the way they, they, they preach this gospel, they make you think that you can't have that type of testimony. Because they tell you, oh, you know, ain't nobody perfect. We all sin and come short of the glory of God. And, you know, taking the scripture all out of context. Huh? Now, the Bible say, if. He said, if you sin, you got to advocate with the Father. Why did he say if? If means you don't have to. If means it's possible for you not to. But he say, if you do. Amen. We're going to leave that alone. Amen. Y'all ready? Okay, verse, verse 2. We say, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Now, this is somebody we can learn from. Because this is something literal that this man of God went through. Huh? If he did it for him, surely he'd do it for me. And if we can tell the truth, we can tell the truth. We can't really compare a lot of this stuff that the saints believe God and seen the salvation for. He delivered them out of. We can't really even compare a lot of our lives to what they went through. But if they can believe them in that, what's your problem believing him in this? Hey, say that again. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Forgive us. We really, Lord, forgive us. 
Amen. God ain't had to deliver you out no lion's den. Amen. You ain't had to be delivered out no literal furnace or, or fire. Amen. You ain't had to be spit up out of the belly of a whale. Amen. Amen. You ain't walk across the Atlantic, sleep, the Atlantic Sea out there, the Atlantic Ocean. Amen. Amen. Huh? Nobody want to threaten to chop your head off in the morning. That's why it's proper to say, Lord, forgive us for murmuring and complaining. At least the children of Israel had something to murmur and complain about. We talk about them, but you understand that we can say they should have got the lesson because of what they went through. Because we've seen both sides. Now we can boast and say this and that. But, man, hey, man, but sure, they had something to, they had something to complain about. Yeah, they should have seen it, but they were going through something so intense. Huh? You mad because you can't get the soda you want. Them people was thirsty. They babies was crying. They, were, they went through a lot. You know, I'm just having a Holy Ghost imagination right now. If they weren't just grown people, you know, whining and stuff. But, man, your baby crying won't stop crying. <laughs> you understand that? You know how that can get on your nerves? <laughs> Some of my three, four, five children, mama pulling on their thing. And you, first they probably saying, we, come on, Moses, gonna, he going he gonna to get us some water. Don't worry about it. Then them children just kept on, just kept on, just kept on. And now the devil getting in their head like, yeah, yeah man, shoot. Man, Moses, what you going to do, man? We thirsty. You going to bring us out here for us to die? Now we hope, you know how a baby can cry and they get hungry. Amen. We got to look at the whole, the big picture. Amen. But still, we know that, you know, God has done all those things. But still, God, look at the big things God done in your life. And you yet murmur, you yet complain. We, we, at, like, we got amnesia and forget what he brought us out of. That was even bigger than what we're in right now. Amen. And we going before God. It's, it's like, Lord, what, you know, Lord. So who are we to judge them? Amen. How about just, 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 let's just learn for their example. And then I told him I'm going to start taking up for the patriots. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to start. Let's just learn from our, our faith wouldn't be as big as it is. And we didn't learn from their failures. Amen. Glory. Now we know what not to do. Amen. We know Jesus come and tell us to step out the boat. Just keep walking. Amen. Amen. Just don't let, don't let the sea. How would you know that if, if, if Peter wouldn't have failed in that area? Amen. So we came down Peter because we, we know what we know because of his failure. Amen. Amen. Our faith is strong because of he failed. He had to fail. He had to be the dummy. You know, the, not the dummy dummy, but you understand how they have the dummies that do the test crash dummy. He had to be the crash dummy for us. Amen. That's why the Bible says these things are written for our examples. Look at the man of God. Look at him. When Jesus rose, he ascended up on high. Amen. And on the day of Pentecost, look at Peter then. Amen. Huh? You could talk about Peter then, but look at Peter now. And, and you understand, after the book of Acts, look at him then. How many of our lives are, are lining up like Peter? How many of us are walking in the anointing like Peter? Huh? Got a long way to go, lot, most of, a lot of us. Amen. Glory to God. Peter's sleep, man. He was so sleep, sleep so good. The angel had to, had to say, man, get up. <laughs> Trying to get up out of here. Who going to sleep? Go to bed, go to sleep to the point where somebody got to wake you up and you threaten to be executed the next day. Huh? That's trust. That's faith. That's being fully persuaded of this thing. Trust that you are blessed by the word that you just heard. If so, we would like for you to come and visit us on Sundays at 10 a.m. and also for our Bible studies Wednesday and Friday nights from 7 to 8.30 p.m. right here in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida. 1351 Airport Road. Again, that's 1351 Airport Road. The phone number is Erico 904 713 3609. Again, that's Erico 904 713 3609. You can also check us out on the web at worldharvestcm.org. Again, that's worldharvestcm.org. But until next time, be blessed of God.